Uh, you did include uh, Obama in your list of liar presidents. I was wondering if you would include him also. Well, to use a, a basketball or a football analogy or, you know, or um, American football, fourth quarter, he may have a game plan. Um, at this point, um, he's in real trouble because uh, the military are dominating him on the important issues of the world, um, Iraq, uh, Iran, Afghan, and Pakistan. And he's following the policies of, of Bush and Cheney almost to a fare well. Uh, he talks differently, and he's much brighter. He's much more of the world. So one only hopes he has a game plan that will include doing something. But he's in real trouble in terms of, uh, he's in real trouble. In, um, in Iraq, I don't have to tell anybody the prospects uh, uh, in the American press, they never mention uh, Maqtada Sadr, but look out. <laughs> he's going to be the kingmaker of that country. He's now studying in Iran, and he's going to be the next Ayatollah to be. He's going to uh, uh, probably, I don't know how we'll work it out with Sistani, but he's going to be the force, the Shia. And, he's, um, and so this is going to be very complicated for us because the two men we talk about, Alawi and Maliki, have about as much to do with the average Iraqi. They're both uh, expats. Uh, uh, Alawi is, let's see, is he, was he, he was certainly an American agent and a British agent, the MI6, the CIA, the Jordanians ran him probably for Mossad. I'm not telling you anything that's not a fact, uh, that is not a fact. So who knows, he, um, so Iraq is very problematical, there's going to be much more violence, whether it's civil war or not, it's going to be much more violence. He's never going to win whatever that means in Afghanistan, the only solution in Afghanistan is a settlement with the Taliban, and the only person to settle with is Mullah Omar, and he's become another Hitler to the American public. And so how are we going to do that and s survive politically? And the same in Pakistan. He's got the wrong policy there. So it is, and again, for Obama, uh, uh, Iran's not resolved in terms of, uh, uh, the Iranians have come out of this crisis stronger than ever. We don't want to believe that. 